Are you considering bringing your DSLR on your Disney vacation? If so, hang on, I have seven things to consider before packing that heavy gear. Hi friends, I'm Carrie with Photograph the Magic. I help you take awesome photos on your Disney vacation so you can relive those magical memories forever. I'm a Disney lover, a mom of two, and I've been a family and birth, yes birth, photographer for many years. Now I'm taking all the tips and tricks I've learned as a photographer and sharing them with you so you can take the best possible photos on your Disney vacation. Today I'm talking about seven things to consider before packing your DSLR for Disney. One of the questions I see often in my Disney Facebook groups is, should I bring my DSLR to Disney? Whether you're traveling to Disneyland, Walt Disney World, or on a Disney cruise, this question stumps a lot of people. So here's seven things I've come up with for you to consider before packing that heavy gear. Before we start, let me know in the comments, what's holding you back from bringing your DSLR? If I don't cover it today, I'll be sure to make a follow-up video answering your question. Okay, so the first thing to consider before packing your DSLR for Disney is what are your photography goals while you're at Disney? Are you hoping to get a couple really great group shots in front of the Disney icons like the Cinderella Castle or the Tree of Life? Or are you hoping to get really high quality photos of every moment in between? Once you know the answer to that question, ask yourself if your phone camera could accomplish your photography goals at Disney. Let's be honest, your phone is gonna save a ton of room for you. It's light, it's not so cumbersome, and they take great pictures. If you're only looking for a few of those iconic photos, your phone might be a really great choice for you. But if you are wanting some really high quality, beautiful photos of those in-between moments, your DSLR might be a better choice. Here are a few examples of photos I've taken with my DSLR and with my phone. I love them both for different reasons, but personally for me, I know taking my DSLR is something that I will do for every Disney vacation. Okay, the second thing to consider before packing your DSLR. Do you have room in your luggage to pack your DSLR? How are you traveling to Disney? Are you flying or are you driving? Do you have a plan for how you're gonna pack it for your travels? And then almost more importantly, do you have a plan for how you're gonna pack your park bag? with your camera gear inside. I'm working on a follow-up video where I'm gonna share my park bag, how I pack my gear um, to fly down, and how I carry it at the parks. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss that video when it comes out. If you're running low on space, are you gonna have to leave something important behind to bring your camera with you? So think about all the steps it's gonna take to get your gear safely from your home to Disney and back home again. All right, the third thing to consider before packing your DSLR for Disney. How heavy is your gear and do you really wanna carry it around all day long? It's heavy. My family and I went in January of this year and then I went solo in April. And I'm not gonna lie, I think it was a lot easier having all of my gear in January when we had the stroller. I got so many breaks, I could put my backpack and my gear in the stroller and walk around freely without the backpack. It was so nice. And when I go solo, it is my sole responsibility to have my gear with me at all times. I'm not in the best shape ever, but it got really heavy. <laughs> It was probably a lot harder when I was by myself because I was walking a lot faster than when I was at a more leisurely pace with my family. So I had a few times where I turned my backpack around and carried it on the front or I would rest it on the ground and I took a lot of breaks to help. So even if you're 100% sold on bringing your DSLR, I think it's a really good idea to practice with your park bag. Put all of your gear, your camera, everything in the bag that you'll be carrying with you on your park days and walk around your house a little bit. Test it out, see how heavy it is, just so you have a really realistic expectation of how heavy that bag is gonna be during the day. The other thing I made sure to do on my solo trip when it was just me carrying my bag was to be sure that I had a shirt with sleeves. I didn't wanna wear anything sleeveless because I figured I'd be getting a lot of sun and I didn't want the straps of my backpack to be rubbing on my arms so much. So I made sure that all my park outfits were sleeved shirts or dresses just so that I didn't have that extra chafing, I guess. I just looked up on the Disney website and there are lockers that you can rent during the day. So if you get exhausted and are tired of carrying your bag around, you can rent a locker. You have to pay for them. The sizes and everything are on the website so you can check those out, but there's a small, a large, and a jumbo size. <laughs> So go ahead and check those out on the website. But for my personal opinion, I feel like if I'm bringing my camera with me, I wanna photograph things that I find interesting in the moment. And if I put my stuff in a locker, I'm not gonna have my camera with me. I wanna have it on me so that I know it's safe at all times. So again, before you pack that gear, just test it out with your park bag, have a realistic expectation of how heavy it's gonna be for you. All right, we're on number four. The fourth thing to consider before packing your heavy DSLR for Disney is, are you going to pull your DSLR out of the bag and use it? I've been on vacation 
vacation with friends before who have been on the last night of vacation and realized, oh my gosh, I only took three pictures the whole time I was here. And I have other friends who have a DSLR, but they're kind of shy about using it. They don't really pull it out in public. They just kind of feel weird about having this big honking camera with them. Honestly, Disney is the best place for a big DSLR camera. It's one of the most photographed places in the world. You look around and you can see people with their cameras everywhere, whether that be their camera, on their phone, or their big DSLR. It's definitely not an oddity. Like I've taken my camera to the grocery store before and I've definitely gotten weird looks there. <laughs> So it's not that kind of situation. You definitely will be in good company with other photographers, other people using their camera, but just consider how realistic it is for you to actually take that camera out of your bag and use it as often as you want to. There's a lot going on on a Disney park day, especially with your kids or if you're with other family members who maybe don't have cameras. So sometimes it does get easier to not take your camera out at all. So just consider and kind of almost play through or imagine what you think your days are gonna be like. I highly recommend scheduling time in your day to take photos and so just making sure that other people in your travel party give you that time as well so that you don't feel rushed and that you don't feel like you're taking time away from them by stopping taking your camera out and taking the pictures that you really want to take while you're there because if you're someone who maybe doesn't pull your camera out of the bag as often maybe just using your phone is a better choice for you Okay, here's the fifth thing to consider before packing your DSLR. How worried do you get about the safety of your gear when you're traveling? Being realistic, Disney is very busy. There's kids and food and Dole Whip and all sorts of things everywhere. You might take it on bumpy rides. There might be kids eating next to you, spilling food. You just never know the possibility of things that could happen to your camera. So something to consider is, will the worry of something happening to your camera outweigh the joy you're getting from bringing it with you and photographing things at Disney? If you're you're going to be super worried the whole time that something bad's going to happen to it that maybe you're going to leave it in your bag maybe leaving it home is a better choice the safety of your gear is really something to consider though. On my last trip in April, I accidentally put too much weight in my backpack and my 85 millimeter lens kind of got shoved to the bottom and here's what happened. But thankfully it was just the lens cover and I always travel with an extra one. So within a couple minutes, I was able to unscrew that cover, get a new one on and continue photographing. But if that was my actual lens, I would have been devastated. But I honestly feel safer with my camera at Disney than I do with my camera at the beach. With the water and the sand at the beach, I feel like that's more risky than just having it on me the whole time I'm at Disney. So I've actually never felt like super worried or anxious or anything like that. So you just wanna be super careful if your camera is set down or if you're not holding it that you're really conscious of the space around you. In most of the Disney Facebook groups I'm in, when someone asks the question, should I bring my DSLR, the group of people who respond with a resounding no is usually professional photographers because their DSLR is their livelihood. If something breaks or if they don't have their camera right away with them or if something happens to it, that's their business, that's the way they make their money and they just know the risks of having it out and about in all these different places. So again, it's just something to consider before you pack your camera. All right, the sixth thing to consider before packing your DSLR for Disney. How comfortable are you with your equipment? And I don't mean how comfortable are you carrying it. I mean how comfortable are you just whipping that thing out of a bag and just starting to take pictures. Is your DSLR something that was just dropped off by Amazon on your front porch two days before your trip and you're not really sure how to use it? Or have you been photographing with it for a long time? It's like an extension of you. You know exactly what you're doing with it. If your camera is super new to you and you're not exactly sure how to use it yet, maybe bringing it to Disney isn't the best idea. And I say that because you're not going to want to miss those beautiful magical things happening right in front of you. You're not going to want to have your head down looking at your settings, checking things, trying to figure out your camera when you could be missing a moment that's happening right in front of you. So I recommend just considering how comfortable you are with your settings, how comfortable you are with your personal camera. So again, considering how comfortable you are picking up your camera and just taking a photo really quick before you pack your gear is a really good idea. Okay, and my seventh and final thing to consider before you pack your DSLR for Disney, if you choose not to bring it, do you think you'll regret it? For me, photography is one of the ways I truly enjoy life. It helps me stay in the moment, I love considering what's gonna make a beautiful photograph and being somewhere as happy and vibrant and colorful as Disney makes me feel so excited and happy. If I was just walking around Disney, I would have an awesome time, but I know in the back of my mind, I'd be like just wishing I had a camera in my hands to take photos. So think about yourself there and think about your trip, whether you have your DSLR, and if you don't, and just maybe consider if you would regret not bringing your camera with you. 
If it's causing you stress and making you feel like it's one extra thing to pack and it's worrying you, then again, maybe it's not the best choice. These phones take awesome photos nowadays. And there is no doubt in my mind you can get incredible photos at Disney with just your phone. You don't need a DSLR. But if it excites you and it's something you're interested in, it's so fun to have. For me personally, I know that I would feel bummed and I would feel like I'm missing out by not having my DSLR with me, but in all reality, you can have the same experience with the camera on your phone. All right, so let's summarize those seven things to consider before packing your DSLR for Disney. Number one, what do you want to photograph at Disney? Could your phone camera accomplish this for you? The second thing, do you have room in your luggage to bring it with you? Number three, do you want to carry that heavy bag around with you all day long? Number four, will you take your DSLR out and use it? Number five, will you be more worried about damaging your equipment than enjoying using it? Number six, how comfortable are you using your gear? And number seven, are you gonna regret not bringing it if you leave it at home? I hope you found these considerations helpful. My only honest advice for you is only you know what's right for you. Even if your family's pressuring you not to bring it or your friends are saying you really should bring it with you and you don't want to, do what's right for you. Only you know that what's best. And even if you pack your DSLR and get it down there safe and decide at the last minute to leave it back at the hotel, there are so many other beautiful places on the Disney World grounds to take photos. And don't forget, there's always Memory Maker for you to use. You can purchase packages or individual photos. My next video is actually explaining Memory Maker and talking about if it's worth it or not. So make sure to check that out. Thank you friends for being here. I hope you found this helpful. Now I would love to hear in the comments below. Did this help you decide if you're gonna bring your DSLR to Disney? Bye! Could your camera phone, phone camera? With this, um, to Disney, take to get your Disney, to get your gear, your,